So another way to create sound effects is to just draw them right on the screen. Uh, no fonts required. On this panel, we need a big slash as Mercy slices through Old Hickory with her sword. So I'm just gonna get out the brush here. Maybe choose something with a little bit of paintbrush texture to it and create a new layer to draw on. And we'll just see, yeah, maybe make it a little bit smaller there, a little bigger. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth like two or three times on each stroke, just to give it kind of like a little extra energy. And it also kind of lets you shape the letters as you go. And again, I'm overlapping them in a way that's readable, but is also sort of making the sound effect all one unit. And I can go back with a pencil and just kind of add little details to kind of give a little extra brush bits. All right, pretty good. And then let's pick a color for it. So again, I'm going to look elsewhere in the on the page for something that's maybe kind of this turquoisey green from up here. And we'll choose that, and then we can just drag it right onto our sound effect. It makes it green. Um, I can get the selection tool. Turn off color fill and just select it. And I can transform it. So we get a little, so it fits in the panel. Doesn't cover up any characters that aren't involved and also kind of emanates from the source of the sound. So the perspective kind of makes it look like the sound effect is coming right from where the sound is happening. And another way to not have to obscure too much artwork is we'll go to our layer blending modes here. Just click on the end there and we can just scroll right through the blending modes. And that's a way for the sound effect to be visible, but also let a little bit of the artwork behind it show through. And there we go.